Ida Ice Learning Center. Thermal Bridges. Data related to Thermal Bridges is accessed via the General tab. We click on the link Thermal Bridges, which we find under Global Data. Here we can now see the different types of thermal bridges. Heat loss associated with thermal bridges are normally defined in watts per kelvin and meter joint. The only exception is the external wall, where it's defined in watts per kelvin and square meter. Data related to thermal bridges can be defined in different ways, either by using the slider on the left-hand side or by keying in the data directly on the right-hand side. To support the user, Ida Ice also provides some good typical poor and very poor values for thermal bridges. Since thermal bridges can vary greatly, it's however always a good idea to check if these values are appropriate for a particular project. Once we have defined all the data, Ida Ice calculates for every zone a loss factor due to thermal bridges. This loss factor is obviously a function of the geometry which we have defined for the zone. By clicking on the link, it's also possible to view the data which has been used for the calculation of the loss factor. And in here it's also possible to carry out local changes associated with this particular zone. The value can easily be set to default. By right-click on the value and select Restore Broken Link. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to Help and Process Guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under Help, you will also find our Getting Started Guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under Events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.